Steve's on to the largest reptile in the valley and the second largest goanna in Australia. He's tracking it down, and I think he's on a win. I don't know who's got who here. Crikey, they've got claws. Just got to... Oh. oh, you're a naughty goanna. <laughs> this is a lace goanna. Have a look at the claw... The claws on that. They're like... They're like a bear or a lion's claws. Really sharp. It's because they're an arboreal or semi-arboreal species. They can run up these trees like I can run on the ground. But I tell you what, it's their teeth that you want to watch out for. They're like razors, dead set sharp as. Check out the way he's driving his claws into my flesh. You know, it's not his fault. All he's doing is protecting himself. Or actually, it's a girl. All she's doing is protecting herself with her claws and she'll bite me. No two ways about it. And to take a hit off one this size, I tell you what, mate, be straight back into civilization and get some stitches. Their claws are nothing compared to their teeth. And these guys are the ultimate predators out here. They're like the icon of reptiles. These things will eat king brown snakes, brown snakes, blacks, Virtually any other reptile species, they'll grab hold of a king brown, <laughs> lacerate it, virtually cut it in half, and swallow it down. They eat a lot of insects, they love hanging around these waterways because all of their food source has to come down to drink. And that beautiful dinosaur-like head, doesn't that represent a dinosaur? In fact, 20,000 years ago, there used to be giant ones of these cruising around 20 foot long called Megalania, and they looked identical. Exactly the same. Head just like this. Nostrils right on the end there. So they can suck in a big lung full of air. Their eyes, they've got eyelids too. They can tuck their eyes right back inside their head. And look back here. See their ears? They've got pretty good hearing. He would have heard me come and heard the rustle, got propped, and then as soon as he saw me bolting up the waterway, tried to scramble inside there. Okay, dinosaur looking head, their skin. Their scalation is just rugged. You can see these patches on their back here. They get into fights all the time. And they tear each other up. And these back legs, look at that, for muscular. All the way through back there to the... Ah, sticking his claws into my arm. Crikey. She's in good nick too. She's in great condition. Nice fat tail. Have a look at her. Isn't she gorgeous? This is why Australia is home of the goanna. We've got virtually 25 of the 32 extant species of goannas in the world. And this is one of the largest ones in the entire world. In fact, they grow to be almost the second biggest. Woohoo! Look at her arm. I wish I had arms like she's got. Okay, sweetheart, where do you want to go? Up here? The trick is going to be getting to her to release. Oh, man. She has got that one driven in. Look at it. It's right inside my skin there. Get her to release me. Grab the tree. And then just let her go. There you go, sweetheart. There you go. Okay, you're free. Climber. They are superb climbers. And if she fell off, went into the water, whoo, we get to see her zip around like a crocodile. Ah. The most important sensory organ in the lace goanna is its forked tongue. That is their sense of smell. This has been great exploring all the animals and the beautiful trees all through the secret valley. So, there's only one thing left to say and one thing left to do. Let's get out of here and then we'll see you next time on Crock Files.